me just, since I don't have much time, let me just focus on one thing. We listed, obviously we have to reduce emissions. Reduce emissions of all our, all our energy use. Not go to net zero, go to zero. Let me say something about the myth of climate neutrality. Climate neutrality means that I can continue emitting and someone else, someplace else, at some other time, will somehow plant enough trees or do something to remove that amount of carbon dioxide. Now, not all of you may be proficient in, in higher mathematics, but you don't need to be to understand the simple fact that in order to meet the one and a half degree goal, we must reduce our, our um, emissions by 7.6% a year for the next 10 years. Seven point. You cannot do that with carbon neutrality, right? If we continue to cut down our forest, continue to subsidize our fossil fuels, continue to subsidize the cutting down of forest, to burn them to replace fossil fuels in our coal plants in Europe and in the United States, we're not going to get there. The myth of carbon neutrality for bioenergy is exactly that, it's a myth. And here in Europe, it is leading not only to the destruction of forests of, in places like Estonia and Lithuania, but in the United States. We ship 12 million tons a year for a single power plant in the UK. That's out of our forests. UK doesn't get charged with that because of the, fault of the mistaken accounting system we have. The United States is supposed to report it. We don't have to because we refuse to be a party to the Kyoto Protocol. Loophole after loophole after loophole. And today and the rest of this week, there will be negotiations over more loopholes. Will, we, will some countries be allowed to double count the forests they grow that someone pays them to protect and then count it as their own? Will we adjust the baseline so that basically some countries get to start, as someone said, halfway down the track in a race rather than back at the beginning with everyone else? We cannot afford any more of this. And I just want to say as scientists, and I can obviously not be inside the head of all 11,000 scientists who supported this, but I think all of them would agree, we have to stop dithering over creating more opportunities to put more carbon in the atmosphere and subsidize it. By the way, all of these countries are subsidizing the fossil fuels. Subsidies went up since 2010, not down, for fossil fuels. And they are increasing for uh, bioenergy as well. Nearly 800 scientists in January of last year wrote to the European Parliament and asked to remove the subsidies for bioenergy and were ignored. All of us bear blame for this. Let's not play the blame game. Let's just get on with solving the problem.